this video we will just cover about four things first we will explain about what is our headless solution provides what is it exactly and what is our full package offering yeah and then we can see the differences then second we will go through our super admin panel so for every marketplace owner there will be a super admin panel which they will use to configure things so we will go through that and how it works with some details and showing a quick demo of our apps so the purpose of this whole session is to just to have a brief understanding of each of these elements so you can make a right decision whether you need our just api only headless solution or you need a full full package okay so let me just quickly go through so i will i'm in our sandbox account which is like admin dot sandbox dot really the dashboard i'll just put this url here and you will be able to uh, access this with uh, you can refer the documentation as well um, documentation as well if you want to get some free access uh, on how this works but anyway so as a platform owner when you are registered with us each registered users will get their email id and then the password to access their super admin panel so this is the panel which you will use it to access how your marketplace app should work okay so there is two things here you could be just our headless solution i mean someone who have i mean you could be a one who could just bought only the headless solution or you could have bought the full package so what is headless solution headless solution is like you do not you have technical knowledge and you wanted to uh, just consume only the backend APIs and build apps, for example, Android, iOS, or IoT, or any experience um, apps or web app, anything you wanted to build on top of this API, and you just want to consume the um, API, and you do not uh, want to use our full package solution. So that's the headless solution. Headless solution is something like, um, I'll just show you a quick an example, um, headless headless solution it's 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 something like this it's like we will provide you this all api layer behind this api layer uh, we would have built this product catalogs pricing promotions orders and customers on top of this you can consume this api to build any things you want yeah so that's that's usually this involves people who have like developer knowledge um who, who, who can understand and all those things usually like people and the team size from 3 to like 15 20 people they will have this uh, resources but let's say if you are like a one or two um team sizes individual business owner who just wanted to test out whether this business model is going to work out for you you can go for the full package when you go for the full package we will provide everything for you not just a sing just this headless solution yeah Head this is the head so that's why they call this head resolution but anyway i mean just a, just a layman term example okay um so when you come here uh what is the first thing when uh, from your user journey uh, point of view first your user wanted to register yeah you can decide whether you wanted just a mobile otb based registrations or email based registration or after social uh sh um, or maybe a social uh, like facebook apple this kind of uh, base registration so uh, this you won't be able to configure this thing here because that's an one-time configuration before we build the uh, app demos for you i mean the app bundles are apk for you so it's uh, so we, we will not be able to configure those things here so it's a one time so you can just let us know while we are subscribing to our solution then after that while you are onboarding your users yeah while you're onboarding your users which is a supply side for an educational marketplace it can be teachers for a product marketplace it can be somebody who sells yeah seller for a crowdfunding or it could be a it can be like a campaign owner yeah so when you're when they are onboarding this is something like uh, it's not really like a kyc but is is something like um you can ask what type of um supply i mean the, the sellers they are yeah uh, let me just log out and log in just to make sure that i'm in the right account mm. 
investor um so yeah so 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 when you when you're onboarding your 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 sellers you wanted to ask specific informations depends on um it's my internet uh, depends on um which uh, what type of account they are yeah so what type of accounts they are so if you do not want to have a type of accounts you can just uh, ignore that as well but if you wanted to um, if you wanted to onboard a different uh, a, a, you want to collect like different informations based on different category you can uh, do that as well login you will see a page like this so what you see here is a, is a, is a, is a quick dashboard which provides you like how many users you have got how much is the total sales you have got and all your earnings blah 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 so this is a simple um reporting if you if you want to activate like an advanced reporting we have in separate add-ons for it but for now I'll just this is just a simple dashboard so after your um your user register which i was mentioning about the different categories so you want to configure the category so we have done a, a previously a demo um like considering like let's say if you want to have like a local marketplace yeah so um how does the type of users will have maybe somebody could be like a government register shop or it's just a home shop or an NGO or some other example so for after you have created all these different categories you can configure what type of information you want to collect from them for example um, let's say um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a government shop then we can ask like whether they have what is their um, registrations um, I mean for, I'll just try to edit this like what is the government registration uh, number yeah so we can ask them so this way we can validate or like do some KYC check later whether this is really a government register shop or not. So when we go to the app, yeah, when we go to the app, when we are like trying to like, um, so this is the app, I'll just quickly like show. So when I'm creating my account, um, creating my store, this is how it looks. So if I wanted to change um, or like uh, if let's say if I, if when I'm onboarding, if I choose me as a, a government register shop okay before I choose that you see here there is nothing else uh, there is no information uh, no input for like government register shop when I'm gonna change to a government register shop it's gonna ask me what is my shop shop government registration number let me just change this so it looks it says government registration number um, let me just go back to these and again come back to this so so you can see in real time it changes so 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 at any point of time without um without um your developers involvement uh technically people involvement you can uh, customize using these panels on what type of informations you wanted to um collect when you are onboarding uh, your um your supply side people yeah i mean varies by different marketplace so i'll just i'll just say it as a store okay and if you want to have like collect like locations you can collect all those things then after they submitted the uh, after they open the store then they may want it to submit a listing so it can go from here or from the home page these also in the same logics you can you can play with attributes for uh, for example we have um for example we have art and craft beauty products okay this iphone is silly i'll just delete this uh, electronic handloom homemade uh, makeup service and all those things so for each of these things the, the type of attributes is going to be different for in electronics you may want to ask like what is the speed the ram size the hard disk and all those things for a beauty product you may want to ask like uh, um what are like vegan um organic natural and all those things yeah so you can play around with different attributes different attributes for different um categories uh, and then after the user uh, your seller posted the listings then every listing they post it will go through a approval process it will come here mm, i don't think there is any item which is pending for uh, from the marketplace wanted to approve for my store everything is approved so if you wanted to like approve different things for example currently we don't see this product in the home page i'll just go to the home page just to show you you don't see this product yeah so after i approve this approval is just to make sure there is no spam things are um, happening in your marketplace and you i mean everything posted are legit or are 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 um wait 
So after you approve, you don't know what's the date that listing has been. Yeah, it's it's here. Uh, maybe it's the item has been posted uh, very um, the different dates. So so it started by uh, reason that old. Okay. Um, so this is how how you can um, manage your marketplace. If you want to have like approve accounts, I mean approve sellers before you they they start posting things we can we can have that additional functionalities as well so this is how you manage the listings accounts and all those things let's say if you want to manage your um if you want to have like different promo banners and all those things then you can still um you can you can you can manage it from here to to run like different promotions let's say if you wanted to uh, put up a diff uh, you want you want the banner to link to an um like a product or uh, or to like a specific page you can link there as well and then you can set like some scheduling blah blah okay so this is for your uh, promotional banners and all those things or else let's say if you want to like promote like to a specific store we can enable that as well so when somebody uh, clicks for example what is this mariana napolitani then it can goes to that specific store yeah so these are all things we can um you can use it so i mean i do not want to prefer not to go through everything it's available in the documentations you can have like multiple currencies revenue model where you can manage like what type of commissions you wanted to have i mean that's your revenue model yeah whether you want to have like on the seller you want to collect like like 10 percentage or 15 percentage on the um, on the sales of a specific item or if you want to have like per category based commissions you can play around as well and um, then you can as a platform owner you can look into the transaction happening orders happening and setup gate and all those things it's available here um so so this is pretty much what is the super admin panel is and how our app works so um, categories you can configure and this this thing this thing uh, we're going to release as well for example uh, i mean currently you see only like stores to follow on latest products widgets but you can have an additional n number of projects uh, sorry uh, widgets and and you can configure how this widget is going to show the item for example maybe by price or maybe you pick up few items uh, all those things you uh, you will it will be available under the collection um, in super admin panel for you to configure and add multiple widgets and you have the social feed the social feed also will go through multiple uh, new improvements soon so you will see that and um if your if your uh, sellers want to configure the stripe payout to receive automated payments they can receive it this is a my card my orders um just because this is a c2c demo you will have my orders which is like the orders you made or you purchased from someone my store order is the orders you received for your store somebody bought your items then wish list and 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 everything yeah and this is just because this is a sandbox account and which is for uh, people like you to experience you can always like exit from Tradely Social and you can go to your tenant ID which we will give you so you can experience how your your app is gonna look. For example, we have something like this which you can go and play around. This is done for a uh, agriculture based marketplace. Uh, I will just keep the sign up. So this 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 is how it looks. Yeah. So 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 after we give your tenant ID. You can go and play around with 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 um, your your test data, All right? So I think I have covered what is super admin panel, how it works, and the app demo as well. So if you have more questions about uh, or like uh, you need clarification whether you should go ahead with the headless solution or full package offering, reach out to us. It's trailly dot app. We have a contact form. We can arrange a call and discuss in detail. And let's say you if you are expecting some other features which is not available, please tell us if it is on a roadmap we can uh, prioritize if it is not on roadmap we can just put it on the future request yeah um, and for any other details feel free to reach out um, thanks for listening